Ezekiel, Hebrew, Yehezekiel Yezkel G. Kel is the central protagonist of the Book of Ezekiel in the Hebrew Bible. In Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, Ezekiel is acknowledged as a Hebrew prophet. In Judaism and Christianity, he is also viewed as the 6th century BCE author of the Book of Ezekiel, which reveals prophecies regarding the destruction of Jerusalem, the restoration to the land of Israel, and what some call the Millennial Temple or Third Temple visions. The name Ezekiel means, God strengthens. Life The author of the book of Ezekiel presents himself as Ezekiel, the son of Buzi, born into a priestly Cohen lineage. Apart from identifying himself, the author gives a date for the first divine encounter which he presents, in the thirtieth year. If this is a reference to Ezekiel, age at the time, he was born around 622 BCE, about the time of Josiah's reforms. His 30th year is given as five years after the exile of Judah's king Jehoiakim by the Babylonians. Josephus claims that Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia's armies exiled 3,000 Jews from Judah, after deposing King Jehoiakim in 598 BCE. Topic. Living in Babylon Topic. According to the Bible, Ezekiel and his wife lived during the Babylonian captivity on the banks of the Chabar River, in Tel Aviv, with other exiles from Judah. There is no mention of him having any offspring. Topic. Prophetic career Ezekiel describes his calling to be a prophet by going into great detail about his encounter with God and four living creatures, with four wheels that stayed beside the creatures. For the next five years he incessantly prophesied and acted out the destruction of Jerusalem and its temple, which was met with some opposition. However, Ezekiel and his contemporaries like Jeremiah, another prophet who was living in Jerusalem at that time, witnessed the fulfillment of their prophecies with the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonians. On the hypothesis that the 30th year of Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 refers to Ezekiel's age, Ezekiel was 50 years old when he had his final vision. On the basis of dates given in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel's span of prophecies can be calculated to have occurred over the course of about 22 years. The last dated words of Ezekiel date to April 570 BCE. Topic. World views Topic. Topic. Jewish tradition Topic. Ezekiel, like Jeremiah, is said by Talmud and Midrash to have been a descendant of Joshua by his marriage with the proselyte and former prostitute Rahab. Some statements found in rabbinic literature posit that Ezekiel was the son of Jeremiah, who was also called Buzzy because he was despised by the Jews. Ezekiel was said to be already active as a prophet while in the land of Israel, and he retained this gift when he was exiled with Jehoiakim and the nobles of the country to Babylon. Rava states in the Babylonian Talmud that although Ezekiel describes the appearance of the throne of God, Merkabah, this is not because he had seen more than the prophet Isaiah, but rather because the latter was more accustomed to such visions, for the relation of the two prophets is that of a courtier to a peasant, the latter of whom would always describe a royal court more floridly than the former, to whom such things would be familiar. Ezekiel, like all the other prophets, has beheld only a blurred reflection of the divine majesty, just as a poor mirror reflects objects only imperfectly. According to the Midrash Canticles Rabbah, it was Ezekiel whom the three pious men, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah also called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Bible asked for advice as to whether they should resist Nebuchadnezzar's command and choose death by fire rather than worship his idol. At first God revealed to the prophet that they could not hope for a miraculous rescue, whereupon the prophet was greatly grieved, since these three men constituted the remnant of Judah. But after they had left the house of the prophet, fully determined to sacrifice their lives to God, Ezekiel received this revelation, Thou dost believe indeed that I will abandon them. That shall not happen, but do thou let them carry out their intention according to their pious dictates, and tell them nothing. Christianity 
Topic. Ezekiel is commemorated as a saint in the liturgical calendar of the Eastern Orthodox Church and those Eastern Catholic churches which follow the Byzantine Rite on July 23 for those churches which use the traditional Julian calendar. July 23 falls on August 5 of the modern Gregorian calendar. Ezekiel is commemorated on August 28 on the calendar of saints of the Armenian Apostolic Church, and on April 10 in the Roman Martyrology. Certain Lutheran churches also celebrate his commemoration on July 20. Saint Bonaventure interpreted Ezekiel's statement about the closed gate as a prophecy of the incarnation, the gate signifying the Virgin Mary and the prince referring to Jesus. This is one of the readings at Vespers on great feasts of the Theotokos in the Eastern Orthodox and Byzantine Catholic churches. This imagery is also found in the traditional Catholic Christmas hymn Godet and in a saying by Bonaventure, quoted by Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, "...no one can enter heaven unless by Mary, as though through a door." The imagery provides the basis for the concept that God gave Mary to humanity as the "...gate of heaven." Thence the dedication of churches and convents to the Porta Celli, an idea also laid out in the Sav Regina Hail Holy Queen prayer. Islamic tradition Ezekiel is recognized as a prophet in Islamic tradition. Although not mentioned in the Quran by the name, Muslim scholars, both classical and modern have included Ezekiel in lists of the prophets of Islam. The Qur. and mentions a prophet called Zul Kifl. This prophet is sometimes identified with Ezekiel although Zul Kifl. S identity is disputed. Karsten Niebuhr, in his Reisbeschreibung Natch Arabian, says he visited Al Kifl in Iraq, midway between Najaf and Hilla, and said Kifl was the Arabic form of Ezekiel. He further explained in his book that Ezekiel's tomb was present in Al Kifl and that the Jews came to it on pilgrimage. The name Zul Kifl would mean one of double, as Zul in Arabic means the one of, and Kifl means double or folded. Some Islamic scholars have likened Ezekiel's mission to the description of dual Kifl. When the exile, monarchy, and state were annihilated, a political and national life was no longer possible. In the absence of a worldly foundation it became necessary to build a spiritual one and Ezekiel performed this mission by observing the signs of the time and deducing his doctrines from them. In conformity with the two parts of his book, his personality and his preaching are alike twofold, and the title Zul Kifl means, the one of double. Aside from the possible identification of Zul Kifl with Ezekiel, Muslims have viewed Ezekiel as a prophet, regardless of his identification with Zul Kifl. Ezekiel appears in all Muslim collections of stories of the prophets. Muslim exegesis further lists Ezekiel. S. Father is Buzi Budi and Ezekiel is given the title Ibn al ajus denoting son of the old man, as his parents are supposed to have been very old when he was born. A tradition, which resembles that of Hannah and Samuel in the Hebrew Bible, states that Ezekiel's mother prayed to God in old age for the birth of an offspring and was given Ezekiel as a gift from God. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic. Ibn Qutayba, K. al Ma'arif ed. S. Ukasha, 51. Tabari, History of the Prophets and Kings, 2, 53 54. Tabari, Tafsir, v. 266. Old ed. E. 365. Masudi, Maruj, I. 103 ff. K. al Badwa el Tariq, E. 4 fifths and 98 one hundredths. Ezechiel. Abdullah Yusuf Ali, Holy Quran, Translation and Commentary, Note, 2473 CF, Index, Ezekiel Emil Heller Henning III, Ezekiel's Temple, a Scriptural Framework Illustrating the Covenant of Grace, 2012 Tomb the tomb of Ezekiel is a structure located in modern-day South Iraq near Kefal, believed to be the final resting place of Ezekiel. It has been a place of pilgrimage to both Muslims and Jews alike. 
After the Jewish exodus from Iraq, Jewish activity in the tomb ceased, although a disused synagogue remains in place. See also Apocryphon of Ezekiel List of names referring to El Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Broom, Edwin C., Jr. September 1946. Ezekiel's Abnormal Personality. Journal of Biblical Literature. 65-277-292. Eisfeld, Otto The Old Testament, An Introduction. Peter Aykroyd, Trans. Oxford, Blackwell. Gottwald, Norman K. The Hebrew Bible, A Socio-Literary Introduction. Philadelphia, Fortress Press. ISBN 0-8006-0853-4. Greenberg, Moshe 1983. Ezekiel chapters 1-20, a new translation with introduction and commentary. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 0-385-00954-2. Greenberg, Moshe 1997. Ezekiel chapters 21-37, a new translation with introduction and commentary. New York, Doubleday. ISBN 0-385-18200-7. Klein, Ralph W. Ezekiel, The Prophet and His Message. Columbia, South Carolina, University of South Carolina Press. ISBN 0-87249-553-1. External links Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Ezechiel. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Prophet Ezekiel Orthodox Icon and Synaxarian.